Hello students. Last time we have seen DVAT system. So before starting with new session today, we just make sure that what we have learned last time. So if you observe this slide here, the various diagrammatic representation shows what is DVAT system. So if you observe right from sedimentation, then anaerobic digestion, anaerobic decomposition and post treatment. So starting with sedimentation pond, septic tank, these are some primary treatments required for DVAT system. Then for secondary treatment, mostly anaerobic filters or we can say planted gravel filters are used. And after that for polishing treatment or we can say post secondary treatment, facultative ponds which are either aerobic or anaerobic, these are used. So let us move towards next topic which is called as anaerobic filter which is nothing but a secondary treatment unit used in DVAT's system. Okay, so these two pictures shown here explains that the secondary treatment provided for DVAT system, one is baffled reactor and anaerobic filter along with septic tank and another is horizontal plant filter. So basically these two treatments will require preliminary treatment for example settling so that suspended particles get removed. So this is actual principle of aerobic filters. So this is nothing but a sedimentation process in which first chamber is provided for removal of suspended solids because during filtration these suspended solids will hamper the treatment process. So after this first chamber that means after sedimentation sludge or we can say suspended solid settles at bottom then clear water passes through this first chamber to the second chamber. Then if you observe this three chambers or three subsequent chambers one by one we can get clear water because this is a upflow type of filter where water from bottom of the filter bed moves towards the top of the bed and while moving from bottom to the top large amount of dissolved solids as well as other organic material get attached to this filter bed. And after attaching to this filter bed, what will happen? There will be a development of microorganism biofilm on this material and there will be a digestion of organic matter. So one by one this will move from top, again that will come to the bottom, then again top and likewise after the third chamber, third subsequent chamber, we can get clear water as a outflow. So this is another closed view of filter bed. So if you observe here, the size of filter material goes on reducing from bottom to top. Okay, so normally at bottom the gravels are used, then lower size and then lower size. So that whatever particles that are present that get entrapped likewise. Okay, if we provide small particles at bottom what will happen there will be a clogging of bed. So this is some information about material required or material provided. This material is nothing but gravel material provided. So this surface area is 90 to 300 meter of surface area provided per meter cube of reactor volume. Gravel size is, size is ranges from 12 mm to 55 mm in diameter. So material which is mostly used as a filter material, these are nothing but gravel, crushed rocks, bricks, cinder or we can say plastic pieces. So next is operation and maintenance of this aerobic, anaerobic filter. So basically this will require 6 to 9 months of startup period because there should be requirement of microbial biofilm. Okay. So formation of that microbial biofilm that will take more time 
but once that is get formed so there is no problem regarding working of the treatment unit but after that we should check clogging of the filter bed because if you observe here flow is also provided slowly then it is gradually increased over the time and the main maintenance required for this filter is nothing but clogging because when day passes what will happen that organic matter get entrapped in that filter bed there is a formation of biofilm and that matter get attached so the biofilm goes on increasing and increasing so we must clean this filter or we can say for cleaning this filter we should provide backwashing that means flow of water from opposite direction then next is the performance so normally bod 50 to 90% reduction total solid is 50 to 80% and it will require hydraulic retention time of about one day and these are some advantages and disadvantages present for that uh, on your big filter so basically if you observe here no electricity is required this is the major advantages lower operating cost high reduction of bod and solids so this is total solid see uh, suspended solids that will clog the filter but basically if you go for suspend uh, total solids or we can say dissolved solids there is a important and the major disadvantage is long startup startup time you have already seen in the last slide that uh, six to nine months are required for startup period so this is the major disadvantage of this unit so i think this is sufficient for today i think you have understood what is the meaning of anaerobic filter what is the working principle of this and what are the various advantages and disadvantages of this anaerobic filter thank you